Hi everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to set up our project, adding dependencies, setting up everything, also creating our socket client and with our TC factory client, which is pretty much a big thing. In this video, we will learn how to create our streamer view model. Let's create this class. It's going to extend from view model class of Android. We will annotate it with Hilt view model. Also press lint with static field leak. And this one is going to be injectable and we'll have the constructor. So we will implement an instance of WebRTC factory and also a socket client variable, not socket client variable of type remote socket client. Up here, I will have a variable called local surface, which is responsible of our local surface view render of type local surface view render, which will be null initially. Also, uh, the remote RTC client of type RTC client, and it's going to be null initially. So I'll have the uncleared method override and use the local surface view relays it make it null and use the web rtc factory and use on destroy function okay so up here let's have my private function of init socket client like this we use the socket client and press init function and for the uh, socket url we will use it as a constant in a moment for the listener i'll set this and for the remote socket URL, let's move to the utils package and add this constant object. We will have three variables for the navigation, main screen, streamer screen and viewer screen, just like this. And also I'll have my base URL, which is the VPS URL. I'll have the remote socket URL, which is the URL for starting streamers way uh, you can see the direction is for the send uh, this uh, pattern is inside the oven media engine for signalings of the streamer and also this one is uh, for signaling of the you know watcher or the guy who wants to watch the stream so these two are the url of the signaling servers for streamers and watcher so let's go back to our socket client. Since this one is streamers view model, we want to use the remote socket URL for the streamer signaling server. So let's start with the next function in its remote RTC client, which is responsible to create our web RTC client. First thing to do is to destroy the uh, current RTC client if exists, then we want to make it null and then we want to instantiate it again just like that using the RTC factory class. So let's create the RTC client here. First thing that we need is the peer connection observer. For that we will instantiate it anonymously just like that using my peer connection class. And for the listener we also instantiate that anonymously. I've typed RTC client implementation and this callback. Let's implement this one. So whenever a message model is being ready, we want to use socket client and send it to the host, pass data to it. Let's go back up here inside my peer observer. We simply want to override on ice candidate and generate it. We check if it's not null. Then we use remote RTC clients and on localized candidate generated and pass it to it. Okay, so we need to know when to use these two functions. So first thing to do, we need a way to uh, check if our local surface is ready. So I'll create a function on local surface ready. This one uh, gets a local surface of type surface view renderer. So in this function, we know when our local surface view is, you know, created successfully. So using web RTC factory and prepare local stream, simply pass the local surface as the view. 
and for the callback which is the callback that notifies us hey the local stream is ready so we will use the anonymous instantiated here and use the webrtc factory that's local stream listener just like that let's implement its member here so we have the stream ready now we use the media stream that video tracks get the zero element check if it's not now then we let add sync to the local surface view and then we will instantiate the socket client so as soon as our surface view is ready we want to prepare our local stream and if the local stream is ready now we want to start connection to signaling server from the streamer side so we start connecting the streamer signaling server and when the socket is opened we will get notified here then we tell to the oven media engine hey we want to have a offer or we want to request an offer so the command is equal to request offer simple as that you can see inside the documents of oven media engine inside the streaming parts you can see if players or streamer connect to the oven media engine it sends the request offer with the request offer command and the server will respond the id cp and the candidates so the user has to send the cp and candidates at the same time to the server just like that let's go back to our class so we know that if we request an offer we will receive an a uh, message model later with the ice candidate generated and session description ready so let's remove these two and go back to our on remote circuit message client now we check if message that command is equal to offer it means that we received an offer so we know when to start our remote web artist client now we check if a uh, session description is not null we simply want to use a remote rtc client and add on remote session received using extension function and then add it to our peer connection as the session description now for each object inside my candidates array or my candidate list i'll have an ice candidate which i'll use the remote web rtc client and on ice candidates received use the ice and use the extension function to web rtc candidate and after adding this session description and ice candidate now we want to answer the call or answer the offer and as the id we use the message id as well and we know it's not now so we will answer using this function as you remember we will prepare the session description and the ice candidate within three seconds and send it as a package at the same time okay our view model is pretty much ready to use now it's time to use the view model and start streaming so i'll copy and paste the screens that i need here inside the screen i'm not going to rewrite everything that is pretty much waste of time i'll explain to you once i'll implement everything let's implement the surface view render components just like that it has an android view which has a frame layout inside it and whenever the frame layout is ready we want to add the view of surface view render of type web rtc factory pretty much straightforward so uh, inside my streamer screen i'll have a column that has the tag on top of it and a card view to uh, you know beautify my screen and down below i'll have the surface view render ready it's a local surface view render and when the surface is ready this callback will notify me and i'll use the view model and use this function to tell the view model that hey my surface is ready now it's your part to start the local stream connecting to the web circuit and also start a connection to the oven media engine that's pretty much for my streamer screen now let's add the main navigation so let's copy and paste my navigation inside the navigation folder okay so i have to add the main screen as well inside my screens 
I'll copy and paste it troubles as well. So here is my main screen. Uh, this main screen is going to be added inside my main navigation, just like that. It's going to have the streamer screen. For now, I don't have the viewer screen, so I simply just comment this line for now. Let's go inside the main screen. We will get the permission of the video and the microphone as soon as we start the screen and then we will have the image for our main screen that says hey come and use this application join my youtube and other stuff also we will have two rows for uh, starting stream or watching the stream to see this ui let's go to our main activity and instead of using uh, this scaffold i'll add my my own navigation to it using just a simple surface and add my main navigation let's run it as you can see it requires the permission let's grant it so we have the stream button inside our main screen which is here and the callback of it is going to navigate us inside the streamer's screen so if i press it here we face an error it's pretty much because we forgot to add the yep android entry point to our main activity which i'll always forget to add it inside my new project let's run it again you'll see it requires the permissions of the video and also the audio we will grant it now we want to press the stream button and move to streamers screen you can see that uh, the local stream is ready and we probably are connected to the oven media engine if there is no error let's open the player let's add the url that we want to connect to the signalings of the watcher so it's uh, pretty much the ws and slash slash the ip of the your vps and port 3333 slash app and slash the id of your application we want to add source and load the player yep we can see that the streamers is connected we can connect an other client to check if it's working yeah you can see at the same time both clients are being updated so now that we are sure that our streaming is working it's time to go and create our watcher screen and uh, connect as the watcher so till the next video see you everyone